Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be showing you the clipping tool called the sectional view tool in the piping extras pull down. This is used to create sections and then cut through your 3D model. Uh, so you need a 3D model for this, uh, this tool. Before we get into that, I want to show you a real quick sketch uh, what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be establishing uh, a front clipping plane. And this clipping plane is the same as where your section line will end up. Uh, it's also going to ask you for the camera angle or the target. And the target's going to be this back clipping plane here. Um, in this example, I'm not too concerned with this back clipping plane. I'm just pointing the camera at the right angle. And I'll show you that in just a bit. But you will have the option to use this back clipping plane if you need. And that will allow you to hide entities behind this plane uh, if you need. I'll also be showing you how to move this front clipping plane forward or towards the camera. Um, and uh, I'll be placing a couple of section lines in the model uh, in order to uh, demonstrate that. So let me uh, get that out of the way. And I have a... Um, a line here, I'm going to re erase it, but uh, let's create another one using the XL command. Uh, X line. Let's place our first section here. And then I'm going to copy this down 12 feet. So our first section is going to be here. It's not really cutting through too many objects. And then the second section is a little bit more detailed. Uh, as you can see, it's cutting through some ducting and then going over through the, the main portion of the duct there and then showing the smaller run going over the main duct run. Let's get started with that. So let's load up the tool. Look in your command line here. And at my cursor, I'm going to type in all to select all the entities. Press enter. Uh, the point for my first section line will be here. Doesn't really matter uh, where this is. It's an infinite line, really. Uh, so you're uh, just cutting it here. And then it wants the, um, the target. Target's the same as the uh, back clipping plane, as you remember, which we're not too concerned with. Simply, we'll just place a point anywhere here as long as the line is straight. And then for our camera elevation, we're just going to accept the default value by pressing enter, which sets the elevation to where the section is. If you wanted to manually control this, you have the option to do so. Now it's uh, asking us if we want the back clipping plane to be activated. And uh, in this case, we don't. So we type N for no. Uh, now we have the opportunity to move that front clipping plane or back clipping plane however we want. Now in our case we're only really concerned with that front clipping plane. Now I'm going to type in F for front and then I'm going to be moving it in a negative direction or towards the camera 12 feet. So I type in negative 12 feet and now it's readjusted the, the section. Uh, as you can see here, I'll shade this in just a bit so you can see it better. Um, now, we're happy with this. We press enter two times and we give it a name. Let's just call it section one. And then it sends us back to our original view. At this point, we can go into paper space or click the layout one tab. Now at this point make sure that model space is activated just by typing in the MS command and uh, load up the DD view dialog. As you can see here there's that section I just created and we want to set this current. Press OK. And now you can see that section as, as it was in uh, model space. Let's go ahead and shade this now.
And now you can see, well, let me just zoom down a little bit. Um, you can see those areas I was talking about where you're cutting through the duct and also the way the duct wraps over this main piece of duct here. Now we can just pan around and move the drawing as we need. At this point, you could either plot it or create another section. You also have the ability to come down and to, uh, draw. Let's say if I wanted to, um, you know, draw a X here to define the to define this opening here, uh, we could do so. So, hopefully this video helps. Feel free to call me. The number here is 888-271-7121. And thanks and have a great day.